All right, welcome to. This is how we brew it. This is how we brew it. New setup. New setup. Here we are. What's Where are we? We are <laughs> in the warehouse. Yeah. On a wait, let's do platform. What the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up here. Yeah. All right, so welcome to This is How We Brew It by Caffeine and Kilos. We've done a This is How We Brew It on the AeroPress before, so we'll link to that below. You can check that out if you're interested. Today we're going to do the Fellow Prism. So the company Fellow makes this thing called a prism, and it's a bolt-on or an add-on to your AeroPress. So the problem with an AeroPress, or what they perceive to be a problem, as some people agree with, is that when you set it up and you put the coffee in, and you first pour the water in, some of the water starts dripping through the filter. Mm. So it doesn't get a true brew in with that coffee. Mm. Some of it just immediately drips through. And then you can press the rest of it through. A little diluted. A little diluted. Well, it's almost like a pour over for the first couple drippings, and then the rest of it brews with it and gets the press through. Mm. And that'll make a little more sense once we open it up and kind of get it going. Yeah, All right. let's get it going. All right, so let's get it going. So first things first, the, uh, the regular AeroPress here. So we've got our AeroPress, and now how this normally works is there's just a paper filter, which we've got some, uh, some in here. A paper filter that goes in the bottom of this, in here, and this just goes on there. And you can put the coffee in, and some of it drips through while you're waiting for it to brew, and then you squeeze it through. Okay, waiting to brew, squeeze it through. You hear that? Yeah, so this part you're no longer using at all. Don't need that anymore, okay? So the Fellow Prism, great little packaging here, by the way. The box, nice. Um, comes in paper, has full directions, all that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, look at that presentation. Great presentation. Um, it also comes with a reusable metal filter, um, which is a metal disc filter, and it's perforated, so it's not crisscross perforated, so it allows some of the oils through. So if you watch this, how we brew it on the Abel cone filter, it's like which the same we'll thing. link to that as well. It's very similar. It's like the same thing. Um, it's just a smaller disc version of it. So you can see through it and all that. So it lets some of the oils through that wouldn't get through a paper. So it has a little bit different mouthfeel. Mm. Also a benefit of uh, that, so again, some of those oils through. Also, if you're mixing it with things, if you're mixing it with milk or that type of thing, then it, it, uh, it mashes up a little better. Like the oils kind of mix with that better. Interesting. So like more true mouthfeel. Okay. So you just put this on the bottom. Um, oh, the other benefit, I guess, per se, is notice that in the bottom, there's not, it's not just open, there's a little rubber gasket. It looks like the same gasket on like a uh, camel pack. Yeah. Similar to that, or like a so sport, a, kind of sports bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So it's closed with pressure, it'll open up. Yeah. All right. So we pop a filter in there, and this goes on the bottom just like the normal one does. There we go. It's on there. Okay. And then uh, then we go like we would a normal AeroPress. So, yep, let's go ahead and put some coffee in there. You know, we should actually... Good thing we have a measure. Good thing, yeah. Well, there's actually a spoon in here. Oh, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> so there's a spoon to measure out the coffee if you'd like. Of course, kind of give the old pour. About three, four tablespoons worth, whatever. This is just for one cup. That's probably good. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, shots of espresso, a couple shots of espresso, essentially. A little That's more solid. probably. No, that'd be good for like a berry. That's probably good. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, Put that on top. Exactly right over the top. And then we should actually we should get we should get a glass something to see go through. Yeah. All right, I'm and sure. all right. So. Now what we're going to do is just pour the water over the grounds there, and you'll see, you'll notice. Circular motion. Circular motion. Are you going oh, clockwise? Let's let that balloon. Yeah, let it balloon. Or Orlando. Blue, dampen it down. <laughs> Orlando, yeah. And then I'm going to see it through from there. So we're going to fill it up clockwise, kind of make sure all the grounds are moist. What was that? Grounds. Grounds? Grounds. Grounds are moist. Pour it in there. Um, and now when you stir, vigor it down with the arrow press, comes a little thing, helps you get down in there. Oh, look at that. Odd shape. Odd shape. So it doesn't sort of fall in. Ah, genius. Mm -hmm. Instead of just making it long to where it can fall in. <laughs> huh? All right. It says uh, stir vigorously for 10 or 20 seconds and let it sit a little longer. Vigorously? That sounds aggressive. Yeah. Well, that was pretty vigorous. Um, so. Your normal AeroPress or without the prism bottom, the water would now be kind of, some would be dripping through. 
this is holding it all in there, so all that water in there is getting a full brew time with the grounds. If you're not drinking your AeroPress out of a mason jar, you're just not paleo enough for a... <laughs> so that's been yeah, about a minute. No. Probably been less, but that's all right. So then uh, you just give it a little press and you can see it squirts. Look at that, it's not even touching it. Not even touch it, get the air, that's AeroPress. That's science right there yeah. in the works. Okay, and then push through. Uh, that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty dark concentrate. It is straight. Um, there we go. It is straight. It is straight espresso, pretty much. All right. So there we go. If I can hang out in there. And now we're we're ready to rock. So what is that guy? You just clipped it on there. It was like a storage. What, the, what this is for actually is if you're making if you're using espresso cups. Oh. So the espresso cup can sit in there, and you can still put the arrow press and give oh. some to push against. Nice. So. Yeah. Wow. So here we go. You want to pour that in the mug or just go straight from the jar? I'll, uh, I'll go straight from the jar. Yeah. I'll take you out. Yeah. <laughs> I got everybody. Ooh, that's good. It's real good. The water cooled down a little bit, but it's okay. Smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Very right. smooth. So personally, AeroPress is my favorite way to make coffee uh, because it, it comes out so smooth. This would be yeah. good. You can do this. Do this over some ice and make some quick. Uh, Absolutely. Make a quick uh, americano. Mm -hmm. Another thing about the prism that we didn't see as much with this one is also usually makes a pretty good crema compared mm -hmm. to normal. I think we didn't see as much of that because the water cooled a little yeah. bit. Um, but if you use uh, warmer water or hot hot water, I say above uh, like above two or five, like more of like a two ten temperature, um, then you will get a little more a lot more crema out of the prism compared to out of the standard press. Also and that's just the you, pressure going through it. And also if you put it maybe in a smaller container where it has less surface area to build up that crema too, like a little espresso cup. Yeah, it definitely would. Um, I usually make it in a, in a, a oh, mason jar. Mm -hmm. Now glass is about that size and it does pretty good though. So, yeah. so there you go. So if you have an AeroPress and you're in that AeroPress lifestyle. Uh, great attachment. Great attachment, bolt on. It's like to be on a Prelude. You gotta get some pipes for that thing, right? Yeah, this is like the exhaust system it's, for uh, it's, AeroPress. It's the exhaust system for AeroPress, that's it. Uh, I think it was $25, they're on Amazon. How much Anywhere. is AeroPress? Uh, about 35. Almost the same price. Almost the same price. But then again, that's almost the whole gist of the whole, yeah. the I whole mean, AeroPress. Yeah, you think of it that way too, the 35 and the 25, I mean, that's $50. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. That's $60. <laughs> um, but uh, $60 for the best coffee you've ever had, I mean, Pretty good. So there you go. There great. are definitely more expensive ways to make coffee. There are also cheaper ways to make coffee. But if you're looking for like a really good espresso, nice, clean, it's pretty um, much quick, full body, it's quick. Cleanup is really easy. Uh, if we just pop this off, and then all you do is all the grounds at the bottom, so you just push the plunger the rest of the way through, and then rinse off the end of it, and it's ready to go. Yeah. It's so, so it's such a tight squeeze that no grounds get stuck in the uh, actual. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, in the filter hole or whatever here. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and so it makes a nice, a nice puck of coffee. Nice little coffee puck. Coffee puck. Yeah. Stanley cup. Stanley cup. This Stanley cup of coffee. Stanley Brewer. All right. Thanks for joining in. This is how we brew it. Till next this time. This is how we brew it.